New AP. She got it, you. That's right. I got you. Juicy entertainment news for Friday. Kanye held the second listening event for Donda last night in the Mercedes Benz Stadium, where he's been living for the last few weeks since his first listening party. He performed an updated version of the album and he pulled off some pretty impressive theatrics in Grand Kanye style. At the end of the listening event, he levitated out of the dome of the arena. Yes. He lifted right up and went out. Absolutely insane. Uh, he was center stage with spotlight shining on him. He went and lay on his back, and uh, then he floated above the stadium by the use of a wire apparatus with the song No Child Left Behind playing in the background. It's pretty awesome. Uh, I, he definitely knows how to exit a stage. I have a feeling this might be the new meme. Forget about dropping the mic. People are going to be levitating out to make a point. Oh, and uh, if you're wondering uh, if it dropped at midnight, no. Donda has still not been released. Now, as for when the project will officially release, the latest rumors are saying August 9th. We'll have to wait and see. We may also actually see, are you ready for this? Watch the Throne 2. That's right. It may be dropping at the end of this year. You know, two weeks ago during Kanye's first listening event of Donda, a surprise guest, Jay-Z, was featured on a track where he teased the idea of Watch the Throne. He rapped, Hold up, Donda. I'm with your baby when I touch back road. And then he said, this might be the return of the throne. So now, according to social media personality and Kanye affiliate Justin LeBoy, the album is in the works. Right before last night's second listening event for Donda, he took to Twitter to inform fans that Watch the Throne 2 will be dropping at the end of the year. He tweeted, yes, Hov and Ye are back in the building again. They're both rich enough to quit rapping, but the passion they share of making the fans happy got them back working. Now, neither Kanye or Jay-Z have publicly confirm the rumor, but seeing that they have been in the studio again, this definitely is very exciting for fans. And I uh, had an opportunity to see Watch the Throne, their tour, and I'm telling you, folks, to have them back together again, this will be epic. Kanye, I mean, rather, Halle Berry, rather, is getting ready to make her directorial debut on Netflix this fall. With an action-packed MMA drama that has been three years in the making. Now, in addition to directing, she will be starring in the leading role, Bruised. Um, it's a film that follows the story of a washed-up MMA fighter struggling for redemption as both an athlete and a mother. And Hallie says, you know, she's really excited about the film, not just because it's her directorial debut, but because she is a huge fan of MMA. And she says everyone loves to root for the underdog. Cast members are set to include Narcos... Adam Canto and Fences Stephen McKinley Henderson, as well as a special appearance from UFC women's champions Valentia Shevchenko and Amanda Nunes. Bruise is set to premiere on Netflix November 24th. Now check this out. Star Wars fans who have always dreamed about escaping to a galaxy far, far away, Disney's Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser experience is perfect. It's a two-night role-playing theater experience built into a themed hotel that's designed to make guests feel like they're taking like a luxury cruise through deep space. How cool is that? Uh, along the way, Disney promises that you will take part in an epic adventure, dine on fine foods. Of course, you're going to have a lightsaber and visit Walt Disney World's Hollywood Studios. But... Get ready to pay the price of a small little box car, okay? The experience is going to cost you at least five grand, uh, or about twelve hundred per guest per night. It opens up in spring of 2022, and the cost of person will go down uh, a little as your party grows. The cost for three adults, or three rather, two adults and one child, will start at uh, about fifty-two hundred dollars. Um, and then it will uh, go down again. A uh, party of four, three adults, and one child will start at 6000 And uh, they want you to know that for your Star Wars-inspired meals, the package includes two breakfasts, two lunches, two dinners, and one quick meal service. And outside of this, your non-alcoholic and alcoholic beverages will cost extra. So it's kind of like taking a cruise, like a real Disney cruise. Now, Disney describes the attraction as part live immersive theater, part themed environment, part culinary extravagans, extravaganza, and part real life role playing games. You can um, interact with characters on the cruise and choose if you want to stick to the First Order's rules or help out the Resistance in a secret plot. So this is like for real Star Wars geeks. You can also decide if you want to engage with the narrative or just chill out. Um, the experience includes lightsaber training, of course. 
That would be the only thing I want to do. And a trip um, to the planet Batu, better known as the Galaxy's Edge, um, the theme park where you can engage in unique missions and get guaranteed spots on rides and definitely have some fun. So if you're ready to pay a pretty penny, you definitely can get ready for Disney Star Wars Galactic Star Cruise Experience coming next spring. And that's your Juicy Entertainment News for Friday. Lock it in again on Monday for more of the juice right here on the all-new Kiss 96.